This horticulture project in Wedza, in Zimbabwe's Mashonaland East Province, owes its success to an unlikely hero, the earthworm. These slimy creatures feed on waste, including cow dung, decomposed food and vegetation, to produce an organic fertilizer that's working wonders. Tracy Kashanji was bitten by the bug two years ago and now can't get it out of her system. And for good reason. My cost of input has come down and the earthworms are revitalizing our soils. There's higher moisture content in our soil now, so we don't need to use a lot of water too. Vermiculture, the farming of earthworms, is being touted as the best way to heal degraded and infertile soils that have been blamed for lowering agricultural productivity. The man who introduced Zimbabwe to earthworm farming says this is the future of agriculture. The next green revolution in the world is going to be based on earthworms. The first green revolution was based on high yielding varieties and the chemical fertilizer application. But that has worked to some extent, but we still have more than a billion people starving. But earthworms say Everybody has got waste, so it means everybody can, co can convert his own waste into a fertilizer and get something out of it. So there should be nobody starving. A projected El Nino phenomenon means the entire southern African region faces an uncertain rainy season this year. Earthworm fertilizer could rescue local farmers. That fertilizer, that organic fertilizer, is the capacity to keep hold moisture nine times more than any other of these other composts. You see? And that is a significant part in our strategies in addressing the issue of drought. Already, earthworm farming has helped at least 100 communal farmers in Wedza to escape poverty. A kilogram of worms sells for $7, more than prime beef. The worms also make tasty feed used in chicken projects and because of their medicinal value, have also lowered costs on vaccines. Getting your hands dirty is all in a day's work. Where there's dirt is where the money can be found. What some see as a pest and what others consider repulsive is proving an invaluable asset to organic farmers here. I'm told these worms also work wonders for the human digestive system. So very soon, it may very well be a worm a day keeps the doctor away. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Wedza, Zimbabwe.